My name's Chaz Bruns, and I travel the world in search of the cheapest food, hostels, transportation, and tours so you don't have to. Which means you're going to get to find out some of the best places in the world to eat, some of the best people in the world to meet, Howdy, partner. and where to go to have a damn good time. And the best part is, I'm going to show you how to do it all dirt cheap. We just left Paris and we're flying to beautiful Stockholm, Sweden. So let me tell you some Stockholm facts. The urban area of the city has 1.2 million people. It's often referred to as a Venice of the North, and the service industry accounts for 85% of the jobs in the city. We made it to Stockholm. We're going to 7-Eleven. He's not joking, but 7-Elevens in Stockholm are a little nicer and a whole lot healthier than what we're used to back home. There's a whole 7-Eleven buffet here. I got a yogurt for a buck eighty-nine. Was gonna get a salad, but I went hot dog. It's pretty good. I miss my hot dogs, but I'm eating healthy. Well. Uber to the hotel was seventeen bucks or five sixty-six a person. We're staying at the Connect Hotel. Thirty-nine bucks a person with three beds and breakfast included, and the amenities are a little nicer than your average hostel. We got in pretty late, so after a few hours sleep, it was time for breakfast. Orange juice on an iPad. The future is now. Delicious. I went with some fruit and yogurt. To get into Stockholm, just grab the free shuttle from the front of the hotel. It'll take you to the city bus station, and from there you want to head over to the Marsta train station. Now we're getting on the train to the city. At Marsta station, take the train to Stockholm Central Station. I know this seems like a lot of traveling, but it's way cheaper than a taxi. This train is fast. And before you know it, you're in Stockholm. We're going to go drop our bags off at our second hostel, the Generator. Very hip, very clean, pretty much a hotel. Except it only costs 40 bucks a person. For a shared dorm, of course. But you get a private bathroom. And a private shower. And remember to travel with a lock so you can store your stuff safely under the bed. And my favorite part are the scooters. They're lying all around the city. Very efficient. Depending on how far you want to go, they cost about three to five bucks and you can pay for it with an app on your phone. The next block over, we happened upon a parade. We were told it was a national holiday similar to Labor Day in the US. And although it was free, we had other stuff to see, so we headed out. We're walking into the old city. The bustling compact island of Gamestan is a city's old town, with cobbled streets and colorful 17th and 18th century buildings. It's home to a medieval cathedral and the royal palace, the king's official residence. Stylish bistros, Nordic cuisine, night spots, old school pubs, and chic cocktail bars. If you're looking to get your new sexy Instagram pic, this is the place to go. Hashtag living my best life. After all, gotta make the friends back home jealous. We happened upon a statue of famous Swedish composer, Evert Tobe. I don't see what he sees. All this walking around was making my stomach crumble. We were told we needed to have authentic Swedish cuisine. Den Yilden Frieden. The food here isn't cheap, but this place doubles as a museum. It's pretty much a national historic site. You wouldn't believe some of the artists, composers, and just general celebrities that have been here. So we're at the Nielden Frieden, built in 1722. We were told, hands down, the best Swedish meatballs in all of Sweden. I'm gonna break my diet and have the best Swedish meatballs of my life. And once again, the food here is not cheap. This will be our one expensive meal. For $25.75, they'll give you three authentic Swedish dishes. I don't know where to start. 
and it's enough to split with your friends. How's the herring, guys? It's the best herring I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So the pickled herring gets a thumbs up. What about these meatballs? Let's see if they live up to all the hype. The best meatball I've ever had. Let's go wander the rest of the island. Just one more photo for Instagram. Why not? It's too beautiful here not to. It costs money to go in the royal palace, but it's free to walk around outside. I love it. There are a ton of souvenir shops with stuff as cheap as a buck. So I got this nice little shot glass for five bucks. Great stuff in here. Yeah. If you like Vikings as much as we do, you're gonna love this Viking themed restaurant and bar. My brother! How are you, man? We go to war soon. Two. Let's do it! <laughs> to battle! Off we go! I'm psyched to be here because I just found out that the legendary Viking warrior Rollo, the first Duke of Normandy, is my 32nd great grandfather. I kid you not. Tonight, I would like to welcome you all here, Iron ladies and gentlemen. I would like you all to have a great evening this evening with food, drink, atmosphere, and maybe meet some new friends as well. It's time to have a drink with my Viking brothers. I suggest getting the big beer. Sharita wasn't down for beer, so she got some mead. And although we'd love to sit and drink beer all night with our new Viking friends, we've been told there's a pirate bar down the street. We gotta go check that out. Come in, and have a drink at Lassing Gotham. It's our only pirate bar in Sweden. Har har, matey! <laughs> we are the men who sail the high seas In the rolling foam and the crashing waves With the wind at our back and the ropes in our teeth we take the ocean and the gales that we meet. The pirate beer is the best beer. Both the pirate and the Viking bar serve dinner, but we're just here for drinks. I was going to show you guys what's up in this secret passageway, but you'll just have to come see for yourself. Believe it or not, we found one more theme bar. This one is from the medieval times. Their motto is to eat and drink like a lord or like a peasant at the harvest feast. I will drink like the peasant I am. Make sure to come see Courtney for a fine medieval beverage. Cheers. I know a lot of people say places like this are just cheesy tourist spots, but I disagree. I love pretending I'm in the olden times. Seriously, what's not to like? This is what hundreds of years of candle wax looks like. Okay, I lied. The bartender told me that's actually only a few months of candle wax, but you get the idea. I know we're in Sweden, but Sharita was craving Italian, so we're headed to Ristorante de Pepe. Seems like a good spot for spaghetti and meatballs, or a pizza. Maybe both. It was a sweet, old-school Italian spot, and Sharita was happy with her choice. And when Sharita's happy, we're all happy. A large pizza was $14.78, but we split it for $4.74 a person. Delish. Scooter line! We're in Stockholm. We might as well go to an ice bar. Here inside the ice bar, it's minus 5 degrees. It contains 40,000 kilos of ice. The ice is taken from the Torni River in the north of Sweden. It lies between Finland and Sweden. And this year's theme is about the promised land in USA. I think it's worth paying a little bit extra to have the drink. 
Entrance fee with the soda is 17 bucks for adults. But if you pay 20, you get an alcoholic beverage. It's really ice. So in a way, consider the entrance fee an artist fee. You're paying to see the sculptures that someone created. And they're pretty cool. Take a selfie or act like an idiot like me. Life's more fun that way. So as good as these drinks are, we can't have too many. We gotta keep our wits about us. The White Walkers are coming. Our watch has started. <laughs> We're going to Bang Sushi for breakfast. I don't care what anybody says, sushi can be eaten three meals a day. I got all this for eight bucks and it comes with free green tea and miso soup. After breakfast, we walked 40 minutes to go to a free park. It's beautiful, but it's cold. I'm gonna go check out the ship. Guard dog. Ferocious. Although these little boats were cool, we were told to go check out the big one at the Vasa Museum. Video doesn't really do it justice. This thing was enormous. It used to look like this back in its heyday, but it's been a few hundred years and the years have not been kind. The captain's quarters. The Vasa ship capsized and sank in Stockholm in 1628. After 333 years on the ocean floor, they were able to salvage the ancient warship and bring it back to its former glory. Her cannon could fire 250 kilograms of ammunition in a single broadside. And those cannonballs nearly flew at the speed of sound. Probably a rough way to die. And obviously they don't allow tourists to go inside the ship, but they've recreated the captain's quarters and a cannon hole. So I've recently accepted the fact that Jira and Sharita can't go 24 hours without some spice in their blood. Sharita found this Thai place on Google and I gotta say the reviews were spot on. Crazy lights and delicious food. We're here in the middle of the day, but I imagine this is a fun place to grab a beer at night. I'm eating light, so I'm getting a delicious blended fruit smoothie. Only six bucks. And they also give you a free salad to share at the table. And I was told the flour was edible, so why not? Tasted just like you'd think a flower would taste. Now we're taking an Uber for $4.77 a person to Ostermann Salahal. It's a huge indoor food market with tons to choose from. You can pretty much get anything you want. I wanted some caffeine. $1.50 for an espresso. And because I'm a cheap bastard, I also got a hot dog at 7-Eleven. But don't judge me too harshly. We had to grab an early dinner on the go because we were running late to check out some Swedish DJs. Along with tens of thousands of other people. When in Sweden, you might as well see Swedish House Mafia. I usually splurge once an episode. Seeing Swedish House Mafia in Sweden is well worth the 70 bucks to me. And it goes without saying that I can't afford to license their hits. Therefore, the free track you're hearing is Midnight by Dan Hinek. It's not Swedish House Mafia, but I hope it gives you a good idea of what the show was like. And remember, you can do this too.
How are you? <laughs> Something's got a hold on me And it won't set me free Must be love. Must be love.